Man, check this out, guys. I just woke up this morning. Took a look at the thermometer. 14 degrees. What can we do in the garden when it's 14 degrees out? Nothing. When life hands you 14 degree temps, you make oatmeal. So that's what we're doing today. I'm going to show you guys how to make the best oatmeal known to man, or at least known to Mike Kincaid. All right, so what do we need here? We need an apple, a banana, we need some butter, no margarine, butter. We need brown sugar, can't forget the oatmeal. I like to use quick oats. We need cinnamon and raisins. You can, uh, raisins are optional. Um, I like the raisins in there and then you'll need some milk. So let's go ahead and first thing we want to get our banana and apple chopped up. Bam, that was quick. All right, next thing we need is some measuring cups. So I got a half cup and a full cup. I'm gonna put a full cup of milk to a half cup of oatmeal, and then we're gonna need a little pan. This is a little, what is that, two cup pan. It's actually about three cups, and that's what I cook everything in. So let's get started. All right, I got my pan on the stove. I've got the one cup of milk in the pan, and I put that sucker on high. We wanna get this milk boiling. You gotta keep constantly stirring it so that it doesn't burn to the bottom cause it will, it is milk and it will burn if you don't keep it moving. I always use milk, it makes the oatmeal a lot creamier, better tasting, uh, yeah. <laughs> I don't like water and oatmeal so we're using milk. Got all my other ingredients ready here. We've got our oatmeal in a half cup measure, we've got butter, we've got the sliced up vegetable or uh, fruit here, I've got my my raisins ready, cinnamon sitting off to the side, and the, the brown sugar is sitting there as well. So I'm going to go ahead and stir this and stir it and stir it and keep it moving until it starts boiling and then I'll show you what happens next. Alright, we're starting to get some frothiness there in the milk and you got to watch it careful, got to keep stirring. That only took about a minute. It's going to start boiling soon. Once it starts boiling, you want to get that uh, oatmeal thrown in there quickly so it doesn't boil over because it will boil over and I've made that mistake in the past. So I'm going to be getting ready here pretty quick. You can see it's probably going to start boiling any second now here. We'll give it a sec, give it a sec. Don't forget to keep stirring or it can burn. And it's boiling and it's starting to overflow. So we dump the oatmeal in real quick and that knocks it back down. We set it on our heat. Turn the heat off. I'll set the timer for one minute. Knock that oatmeal down in there. All right, now for this part, you got to keep it off the heat. And then I just kind of go back and forth, put it on for a second, take it off because I don't want this boiling over. It will boil over. If you use a deeper pan, you'll probably be a little safer. You can see I'm not on the heat and it is bubbling up pretty good. So we're going to go for a minute and then I'll show you the next step. Alright, you hear the timer there. Now the elements cooled down enough. I could probably leave it there for now. And the first thing I do is dump all of our fruit right into the pan here. Because we want that to heat up and cook and it'll pretty well fill this up. Don't worry, I've done this before. <laughs> All right, I think we got it. All right, now we'll get all that kind of mixed in there a little bit with that oatmeal. Next, brown sugar, and I've got a separate spoon for that. So, you know, you put what you want in there. You gotta have a little fun though. It is 14 degrees out, so I'm gonna put two scoops in there. No, nobody needs that much sugar, but we sure do like it. All right, a little cinnamon. Cinnamon. All right, there we go. Okay, we're a lot of cinnamon. And then, last but not least, well, actually, we're not quite at the end yet. I'm going to put a bunch of raisins in there. 
I love these raisins. Now you don't have to put this in there. I, if you don't like raisins, I love raisins though. Ton of fiber, ton of carbs, ton of fat, ton of protein. This is about the perfect meal to start your day. Now I mix all that up together, get it in there so it's gonna cook good. We want all that fruit to heat up. We want that oatmeal to soak up the milk. And the final straw that broke the camel's back. About one tablespoon of butter right in there. No, I'm not Paula Deen, but I can eat like her. All right. Now, I just leave that right like it is with a slab of butter right on top. And we'll get this. I don't have a lid for this pan, so I made one out of foil. I just set that right on top. And we will leave that there on the original element we used that is turned off. That will still continue to heat that a little bit. And we'll let that butter sit there and melt. Let all that fruit heat up and cook. And within a minute or so, we're going to have some awesome oatmeal. Alright guys, looky there. So, we're about done. That butter is melting down. You can see how it's just kind of melting into that oatmeal. And I'll stir it up. Get that stirred around a little bit. I try to keep track of that butter chunk there. Make sure it's melting down all the way. And we're going to get all this stirred up real nice. You definitely got to do the butter. It just makes everything taste so much better. And that butter is definitely melted now. So we got a nice hot steaming bowl of oatmeal here. And I am ready to eat. Well, we're ready guys. A nice steaming hot bowl of oatmeal on a cold day. I sure wish you could be here to taste this. It is good stuff. Ma'am. Why don't you go uh, make some for yourself and let me know what you think. I love this stuff. Oh yeah. You still here? Scram, beat it. This is my oatmeal. Man, I sure like that a lot better than the last temp I saw.